All right, so the good news is being a vendor and working with Aptio, we acquired Cloudability about six months ago, and the president of Cloudability created FinOps as a um, organization that's separate. And the question is, is why? I mean, FinOps is more than just basically the chocolate and peanut butter putting financial and operations together. It's the reason for the necessity to have this in a cloud environment is different than the legacy environment because historically what you do is we're going to roll out a new app, we're going to do something, and then you have to go go to finance, get approval, order infrastructure, build it in a data center. Now, due to DevOps and AWS, organizations are making financial decisions, and the people who are making a lot of those financial decisions are development people. So some of the, like, the benefits of going to be agile and quicker development are now not getting some of the focus due to the fact, from a financial perspective, you're not making the best financial decisions for the company. So historically, you've had IT finance in a backroom closet somewhere, kind of chunking through numbers to do different costs. This has now become a interactive conversation because they're the ones negotiating with AWS, they're the ones negotiating with different vendors, and they can help you make better decisions. So that is this, this is finops.org, you'll see the website at the end, but it's, it's a practice, it's a discipline, it's trying to understand the different ramifications. So the good news is, is we have two great use cases coming up. I only have six slides. I'm just gonna talk about why in some of the different components. I'm not gonna belabor this with anything because I'm a sales rep as everyone knows because I'm way overdressed. It comes down to is why is FinOps important, but understanding the use cases in, in understanding from a development standpoint of working with your finance team for the first time to get the better value for your organization and some of your projects. So historically, these events have always been practitioner. Are there anybody from the finance side other than you two who are speaking tonight? Is there any other finance people here? All right, we got a couple. So these are the conversations that are gonna change. So this is not our survey and it's not, I, mean, I don't know why, uh, we have IDG on there. It actually, this is a survey of 2018 reinvent of the most critical areas. Everyone's now starting to realize now that cloud is, everyone wants to do more in the cloud, be more agile, do all these different things. Not only is security up there, but cost containment and optimization is the critical area. So this is gonna become a forefront as organizations try to understand the costs. And as I kind of brought up, some of the bigger things is, is it's historically IT or finance for cloud spend has been regionalized or departmentalized and not done through a corporate group. To get the best value and get some of the best things, whether it's reserved instances and doing some of those components that you used to do in data center spend, it's important to involve people ahead of time to make not only just good technical decisions, but optimization across the board. Because that variable consumption in the middle thing is what's different in cloud versus, um, uh, versus your historical data center component. So, what are the core fundamentals, which you're gonna hear real use cases, real scenarios, which will probably resonate really well with what you're doing in AWS today, but it's more than just understanding your fully loaded costs and trying to allocate those out. It's benchmarking across your peers within an organization. It's making real-time decisions. As, as the normal example is, is from a financial perspective, the hardest part is, is this is like your kids on a non-unlimited data plan where, all of a sudden, you leave something out over the weekend, you, you show up on Monday, there could be a $60,000 check waiting for you, which there's examples of that across the board. And also just understanding the capacity ahead of time. So it's like my kids, it's, they can burn through 50% of their data in, in two days, but then they can understand they need to cycle back, otherwise they're gonna have to go pay me for the different overages. But also making that, from a collaboration perspective, the different areas. So we kind of talk about a, growth within or maturity within this FinOps program is one is, is one is understand your cost and be able to communicate that out to the different areas, but then also benchmarking against your other groups within the organization. Then the next area is optimize. And from an optimization perspective, it's doing some of these different components, not just right sizing, but make sure you're doing like the best reserved instance policies, doing something that's saving the company money, but getting you all the technological benefit of what you were hoping to get. 
And then of course, it's operation from these different areas and it's, it's basically building some government governance because what we've seen is a lot of organizations were cloud first a few years ago. They talked about lift and shift. They talked about different things as technically would this app work in the cloud? Nobody put financial governance in place and now people are now trying to catch up with that. So here's just some simple examples. We can make this deck, um, it's uh, available to everybody else. I'm not gonna read to people, but it's just that process of you're gonna see uh, through Caitlin and Mike's presentation of how they do things in real world scenarios. I didn't wanna belabor it with a lot of uh, technology or just different things, just talk about FinOps as a whole. And as I said, even though it's like it was, it was started by Cloudability, when Mike became a founding member, um, he was not a customer. Um, even though they're part of uh, all states. So there's a lot of good material out on finops.org in regards to some of the things that we talked about today with your peers, because you're not alone. Everybody's doing this for the first time or doing it in a, in a larger scope and scale. So me as a vendor, I've talked enough and probably I just see a few heads nodding, nobody's sleeping yet. Um, so that's always good. Is there anything or would you rather hear real use cases from Mike and Caitlin? All right, I'll take that as a mic and Caitlin. So thanks, everybody.